Hello, this is Yogeshwar 7000 again, and I'm back with another very interesting topic today. And this topic is actually not directly related to Vedic astrology, but in some way or the other, it is related to astrology because it's about a very, very important topic which has been practiced, especially in India, for around about 5,000 years, maybe a little before that. And uh, this topic is on Vastu, V-A-S-T-U, as you can see on the screen. Now, what exactly is Vastu? And uh, a lot of people from the West may not have, especially from the West, I would say, uh, may not have heard of this name per se. But this Vastu is nothing but a traditional Vedic system of architecture and uh, this Vedic system of architecture is based on um, a mythological story which which talks about uh, the Vastu Purusha Vastu is of course I just mentioned is the traditional Vedic system of architecture and Purusha means a man and I'm gonna come to that uh, mythological story in a moment but basically what it is is that every piece of land carries with it certain amount of energies based on the various gods it represents in that part of land so once again if you consider a part of land there are various energies in that part of land based on the gods the hindu gods or the hindu energies it represents so the entire vastu system is designed so that one is in harmony with these energies represented by these gods when he constructs a building building on that piece of land so that you know he is moving towards prosperity it's like the <clears throat> sri yantra <clears throat> or the Sri Chakra where they say well Sri Chakra or even for that example a pyramid like an Egyptian pyramid because it's designed based on a geometrical structure or a design where the energies are positive so that people living in that dwelling or that place which they construct they go well with the energies so that's the basis of Vastu, Vastu Shastra rather, um, which is actually a system. Shastra, Shastra is technically Shastra. If you translate Shastra, it means some kind of a scripture, but it could be explained as Vastu system. Again, it is a Vedic system of architecture based on the principle that the land on which you construct a house carries with it certain energies and the construction should be such that those energies are in harmony with the people who are living in that constructed place. And uh, a lot of people are practicing the signs just like Vedic astrologers are, but unfortunately there's a lot of reading which needs to be done based on the ancient Hindu scriptures and uh, we do not have to get into Vastu or practice Vastu in a very superficial way that okay well a lot of Vastu, Vastu experts so as to say well just to give you an example well the Sun rises from the East so you know you should have a window on the east or you should have your bedroom on the east where you know when you wake up you see the rising sun no vastu is much beyond that and it's a tremendous and a very deep science just like vedic astrology is so we need to do a lot of research into this before coming to a conclusion or making a analysis and a recommendation how a building has to be constructed what energies are there in that plot of land or a lot of land where your articles are, are to be placed where simple things like 
your kitchen is supposed to be or where your bedroom is supposed to be based once again on those energies represented by that God so here is the mythological story which I referred which I talked to you in the beginning of the video and the story is and of course it's I always mention mythological but I don't think it's a myth it's true as far as I'm concerned so uh, this is the story that Lord Brahma who is the God of creation and again people from the West Brahma is about creation Vishnu is about preservation and Shiva is about destruction as part of the Trinity and Lord Brahma the God of creation when he created this universe he thought let me create some creatures and he created the man and when he created the man this was not an ordinary man because it was created by the creator the Lord of creator Brahma himself he was very huge and he was very powerful and he started growing and growing and growing well it was the begin beginning of the creation so Lord Brahma was also probably experimenting <laughs> that's just my thought probably but God doesn't do things probably but anyways there was probably a reason for that he created the man who was huge and huge and and in his size according to his size his hunger increased so he started to just eat and devour anything which he saw and as time passed he became so big that his shadow eclipsed the earth and then all of a sudden Vishnu and Shiva were alarmed they went to Brahma and said hey what have you well not hey sorry I shouldn't be using this word for a God they went to Lord Brahma and said oh Lord Brahma what have you created and please stop this creation which is just out there to devour everything and to destroy the world and God Brahma realized okay I have to do something and uh, he called on the gods of eight direction as we all know as per Hinduism there are 300 330 million gods and goddesses but anyways we'll get into that discussion in some other video he called on the gods of the eight directions we know there are eight directions and uh, the gods came and they grabbed the man the huge man which had eclipsed the earth with his shadow and pinned him to the ground and the direction in which the man was pinned was the head was in the northeast direction and the legs were in the southwest direction so try to imagine you know it's like a man with the head on the north east and the legs in the southwest and while these eight gods or the gods of eight directions were pinning the man down Lord Brahma jumped into the center of that man so he was completely pinned down and the man was confused he said well he has Lord Brahma as to why this was being done to him because you've created me and um, Lord Brahma said that look I don't want to destroy you but I want you to be under control you know otherwise you're gonna keep growing and growing and growing and you'll destroy everything else what I've created so I will make sure that you will live an immortal life okay but you have to stay in this direction and any man any mortal people from this point onwards whom I create will actually whoever builds a structure on earth will have to worship you and you will be called the Vastu Purusha Vastu again it's the science of architecture Hindu Vedic science of architecture and Purusha is the man so you'll be you'll be staying in every piece of land here from here onwards on earth pinned down to the earth 
where your head is going to be in the northeast direction and your legs in the southwest direction and uh, to this the Vastu Purusha or that man agreed and he calmed down and since then every piece of land which on which a man creates a building a structure has a Vastu Purusha well, of course, it's not it's not physical as because you can't, cannot see it. But the Vastu Purusha is there, as per the Hindu beliefs, who has his head in the northeast direction and the legs in the southwest direction, and where the eight gods or the gods of the eight directions are pinning him down from all the eight directions, and Lord Brahma is in the center so the other gods there were other total gods who had used their powers to pin down this enormous man because of his strength were in all 45 in number including Brahma so symbolically if you draw a chart you will see those gods 45 gods including the gods of the eight directions including Lord Brahma which are pinning down the Vastu Purusha and these 45 gods have different energies so when a man constructs a house on a piece of land he has to make sure that he constructs portions of that house in a way that those energies or those 45 energies are in harmony with the people who are who are living there so that is the story so what I told you about initially I told you about what exactly Vastu science is and the story behind it which involves the Lord of creation or the God of creation Lord Brahma and then in recent times what people think about Vastu Shastra a lot of people consider this as a superstition so lots of um, modern day architects just brush it off and say well they'll they're gonna build buildings based on their knowledge and architecture and they're not gonna use Vastu Shastra or Vastu science while they construct buildings however some do believe in Vastu so they incorporate the signs of Vastu with the architecture while building structures now in recent times Jaipur is a city in India which was master plan planned by a king a very well-known king his name was Savai Jaising and this was the city the entire city of Jaipur was built in the 18th century and the entire city was based on the Vastu principles where they've used the Vastu Shastra based on the various energies which we just discussed about and historians there are certain historians who have discovered that um, the Indus Valley civilization which constitutes of Mohenjo-daro and Harappa which is in northeast of India which uh, was around about 5,000 to 6,000 years ago they were actually built on the principles of Vastu so isn't that interesting so people had a belief and knowledge and understanding of these Vastu principles since about five to six thousand years ago and these archaeologists and these archaeological sites of Indus Valley which constitute of Harappa and Mohenjo-daro prove that so that is very interesting but once again you know like I said you know modern day architects they don't believe in it they feel that it doesn't doesn't have any sense so how Vastu Shastra is used today is of course there is one way of building the structures and the other way is to make sure that the energies of these various gods are in harmony with the people who live in those structures 
various objects are also placed in that house which was built in the right place where they are in harmony with the energies of that god and how they do it is that they divide the entire piece of land into squares and this is a different science and we're going to go that over in our other videos as to how they divide those that piece of land into squares so they could divide it into one square they could divide it into 100 squares 64 squares 25 squares and there are scripts and scriptures rather ancient written as to how this science can be used extremely effectively so that people who are living in those structures can live in harmony once again it's like the pyramid where the egyptian pyramids are built and you will be surprised that based on the structure of the pyramids people say that you know you a little thing like an apple if you put it in that pyramid it stays there and doesn't rot for days and weeks because of the positive energies it generates the mummies which are kept inside the pyramids based is based on the principle that those pyramids radiate some kind of a positive energy that helps to preserve those bodies those mummies so there there is definitely you know we are sure that there is definitely definitely some kind of a positive energy which can be created through structures and so this is similar rastu is similar that yes positive energies can be created by creating the right structures in the right places in the right directions and objects have to be placed at the right places in the house which was constructed so that there is a positive energy and of course which is in harmony with the people who live in those places so once again this is just uh, you know an opinion of people who may agree on vastu principles may not but yes it has been written and it has been substantiated and it has has been confirmed and it has been described in hundreds of scriptures ancient scriptures some scriptures in a very detailed fashion some scriptures maybe not so detailed but their reference has been made in hundreds of of scriptures ancient temples in india many of the temples have been based or rather in ancient times most of the temples have been made using vastu principles and coming back to its connection with vedic astrology well even in vedic astrology we know there are planets we know that those planets are ruled are or are rulers of certain directions and we know that those planets have energy so there is a current connection between planets and vastu in this way as well and um, a lot of modern day architects have come to believe that yes it makes sense to use vastu in the structures which they create so hopefully you know i give you a little idea some basic idea as to what what to what what vastu actually is whether it's just a superstition or is it scientific unscientific is it connected with vedic astrology does it make sense or not we'll go along as we move along to our forthcoming videos but uh, in the meanwhile i hope you enjoyed this video i will recommend subscribe to my channel who have not subscribed so far and check out my website there is a link below and i will see you with an interesting topic very soon goodbye